Hey, hello YouTube family. So I am doing a reading. Um, yeah. <laughs> so just shuffling some cards. How was the full moon last night? Powerful, powerful energies coming through. Um, yeah, so if I look a little bit like, ah, uh, I'm fresh, raw, okay, my makeup, <laughs> I just woke up, okay, like, yeah, I slept till two, because my sleep schedule, I stay up pretty late, especially with the full moon, um, with it being summer, you know, and no um, actual working working for me at the school. So, anyways, that is why no makeup, just totally like fresh out of bed. My phone's charging, waiting for it to charge and stuff, so I can go to the gym. That is my goal this summer is to get back into the gym and get my body moving to care of my body so let me know who inspires me for that DM <laughs> good old DM that I'm asking they do, they do, their energy really um, my own twins energy encourages me and it, it motivates me to do certain things especially that's more masculine oriented, like doing things, taking care of the body, um, gym, going to the gym. That's like the masculine. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just really, he inspires, he inspires me all the time. Um, it's just stuff, so. So I just wanted to see what's going on. Plus I'm kind of in that nice, Flow where you know you just wake up and you're in that you're kind of not awake quite yet. Um, I'm addicted to coffee. <laughs> Let's just say Starbucks, but I love coffee. So um, I wanted to see these two decks are one of my favorites. They go well together. <clears throat> also. I realize that there is a specific, there's a great website that I can use to help make my cards into cards and actually sell them. And I see that some readers are doing that and they're making their own decks. And I've been doing that, but I've been doing it with like magazines and right, like this, right? And really handmade, but yeah, I'm getting tons of ideas for like merchandise and my daughter came up with some ideas. The whole I guess where unicorns could be like a thing. Um anyways, I don't want to give out all my ideas. Nobody took my ideas. No, but <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be careful about that nowadays though. So. Just seriously. But yeah, lots of ideas are coming through. Um be cool to make like a mug that says that's intuitive on it like my logo get my logo going just focusing on like what can I produce what can I make creative energy is coming flowing and that is why I feel like the body my body I've been kind of neglecting my body in a way like because I love working out going to the gym that's actually the one thing that will propel me into wanting to get out of my comfort zone it'll propel me into because I'm an Aries but I'm a Pisces moon too uh, so it's the one thing that will help me eat better it's the one thing it just propels me into everything else that is good for me so it's always nerve-wracking the first week to try to go to the gym when you feel out of shape and like I still love my body right and it's still I'm a goddess and I love my body but it's time to give back to my body for sure. So thanks to my masculine. If you're watching, you inspire me with your your sexy hot body. <laughs> you can tell that you're working it out. 
So I need to do the same thing. And that's how we help each other. That's what the cool part is. It's like a super um, spiritual guide at your side with you the whole time. And you help each other. That's why I call it tw twin, team twin team twin flames. Okay. All right. So. Okay, let's just get into, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> let's do, so with the full moon, Sagittarius, let's go into the reading of doing divine, um, divine feminine, divine feminine. Where is she at? home beautiful she's at home <laughs> that's right she is at home within herself her physical home feels at home but this is that energy of feeling at home within yourself welcome life everything is growing around the home it's lush I've always pictured myself in a cute little, like, cottage with, like, you know, I am a witchy poo, okay? I am, like, a witch priestess goddess, so I've always wanted to have lots of greenery, plants, trees, just, like, engulfed everywhere. I love it. Um, little witch's house, I <laughs> kind of. Um, yeah, so home. It's for feminine. What's for the masculine? Where's the masculine at? Maybe I should, I don't know, I'll try to. Peaks of joy. He's having peaks of joy. 33. Peaks of joy. That's good to see. Moving forward, really trying to um, remove and let go. Being this let go energy and just plunging through. Yeah, she's in the clouds, so that represents to me also that they're getting familiar with the astral realm during sleep. Even if they're not consciously aware of it, their soul is being to, um, going on journeys and astral and meeting up with Divine Feminine and, and starting to realize the potential of their soul. So there's peaks of joy. I like to see that. It's really beautiful. What about the combination? What about the combo of the two? Since they are one. Mm -hmm. The gentle gardener. Gentle gardener. Right in the middle. I'm going to read that one because I know a specific message about about manifesting okay so let's see okay gentle gardener be your own person be a conscious co-creator the gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts feelings and beliefs create the reality you experience she is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and ensures that all all that you are it are is reflected in the world of form are you aware of your thoughts what is their quality believe in limitless possibilities and you will see miracles unfold stay positive and expect a wondrous return your garden is abundant with beauty Wow, so yeah, it's about the two in in uh, the union energy here, co-creating. They're co-creating, to actually they're co-creating together. Okay, they're co-creating together. Wow, peaks of joy and home. Also the bone collector came out, and that is the wisdom. The wisdom is that crone energy 
but she's been through, she's collected her things. She's got a peacock feather, a rabbit, skulls. She's the bone collector. I've been through life experiences. I, pretty much that's what it, was, what it says. Yeah, you are whole and have everything you need within. Perfect. So for the combining energies, there's this manifestation energy. And knowing you're whole and complete as you are. Okay. Bottom of the deck. We have protecting treasure. We're protecting the treasures. We are the treasure. We're protected. She's under the rain. The rain is hitting her. She, next to her is the crown. It's beautiful. There's a crown right next, on top of the chest. The treasure chest. And that represents the royal divine, divinity, I guess you could say of the masculine and the feminine and that protecting that treasure. Okay. Let's pick from this deck. From one four divine feminine. Mending. Mm-hmm. So there's a picture of a girl and they're mending this flag or something together, like sewing with another girl. They're fixing something. Mending. Also creative out, outlets, mending, home and mending. So mending things at home, okay? And it's it could be symbolic and it could be the actual thing. Mending, fixing things up at home, fixing things within your the home. Um, also there's children here, right? So fixing things um, with your children or um, assessing to things in the home, but I also feel like it's within this, the Divine Feminine. She's mending, she's been mending, <laughs> mending and mending, healing and purging a lot, you know. Um, so that's really beautiful. She's mending in her inner home, her inner home. She's rearranging some things within. She's purging out. I really feel it's symbolic, but it could be physical. Symbolic of mending the parts within her. Not really mending, but like prioritizing within her what is home within, right? What is union? Because union is within you. It is the. Uh, oh no. Okay, never mind. I thought that my wire was coming. Who's the computer? Um, it's that, like the inner nurturer, the inner protector, and the inner child all together, cohesive one within yourself. And that's when it gets really interesting and really fun to manifest because once you have this connection within yourself, that's how it works and then manifests outwards. So the inner masculine is that inner protector, the inner divine feminine is the nurturer. And the inner child, the inner child, you know, the inner child, the innocence, the play. Um, yeah, so let's pick one for my mask. I'm going to try and do some readings like this. Haha, <laughs> beautiful. Message in a bottle. Love it. With peaks of joy. Let me read peaks of joy. To get us oh, I went right to it. Your life is filled with happiness, so share with others. Okay. So, Divine Masculine and all his turbulent energy and towers and reconstructing himself and ego death transformation. Okay. Because we, we know they're going through a lot. There's peaks of joy and there is happiness. Okay. They're experiencing the happiness. And... So share it with others, is what it says. Yeah. So life is exhilarating, joyful. It's just a really joyful energy. With message in a bottle, if wants to share this, send a message to whom? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe to my feminine. Send a message in a bottle and a 
in the ocean, maybe a bird, maybe like a <laughs> smoke signal. I'm just kidding. You know, however that comes out. Peaks of joy wants to share we have something happened within their life that is very exciting and they want to share it with the divine feminine okay so I want to pick let's see one for the middle here it's already been 15 minutes I've been talking wow <laughs> never ending story doesn't it feel like that twins <laughs> never ending story this is like her hand is in her face like and sometimes that is part of the journey we're like oh my gosh like like yesterday had kind of that moment of this is crazy oh my gosh this is how did I get here I didn't know I was gonna be a twin blame and go through soul growth times 20 and all these different things it's a never-ending story <laughs> because it's it's not just uh, this lifetime it's past lifetimes and it's the soul which is infinite which is everlasting so it feels like a never-ending story <laughs> that's funny let's see what that says This is kind of a chill, slow energy because I am kind of just waking up. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary drama. So yes, both energies are working through this, working through this um, working through this energy. You know, we have this manifestation power okay you are whole you are one the never-ending story self-loathing yeah so it is the old story so releasing this these old stories let's see new story so this is what I gather okay from what I read it's starting a new story, a timeline, a new timeline for this um, wave or collective of Divine Mass and Divine Feminine. That was, that's what we've been doing. Divine Feminines and holding down and really anchoring in the energy of higher consciousness. Okay. Divine Mass and been really battling 2D, two dimensional, three dimensional forces like energies ego death and stuff like that so i feel like this never-ending story it does relate to like what it feels like to be like, of like oh my gosh this person is always on my mind always in my heart from the mind's point of view and the ego it's doesn't make sense and they don't and the ego does not like that so the ego fights for control, but guess what? You are you are control of your ego. Like <laughs> once you see it and you have like love for it, and you kind of like you it starts melting away, then it's like I want to pick another. I want to pick another card for the never, never ending story, but it's picking a new. Um, picking a new story now. You know, choosing a new timeline. Tapping into a new timeline, future timeline of you together. Wow, yeah, the storm fields. Huh. The storm fields. And yeah, there may be some storms brewing ahead. And you're prepared for them. But it's this storm that, once it settles, brand new life. Brand new life. That's what I gather from these two cards. Okay. The storm fields. I'm trying to not read too much in the book and go off what I feel. Okay. So the storm fields, I feel like it is part of the path of the spiritual journey of letting go. It no longer serves you. Attachments. Um, attachment to the physical world, even. Um, 
it's fun to have things and stuff, but when you're really attached in, in that matrix energy and it's all about material and you forgot about the realness of life, that's when the storm comes in and God will come in to show you that's not true. To get you out of this never ending story. You know what I mean? The, this is also the karmic cycles. I did a video yesterday about them them ending. And in, in my the way I I'm quantum. I go I go quantum with this shit. Like I go quantum and we say from all timelines, like I already believe that everything is already done, and even if in the physical it may not look like that, I don't work like that. Like I say what is true. You gotta be like that. Not you gotta, I'm not saying you gotta, but I'm just saying. It really is helpful to come from a place of knowing your truth and sticking to it okay beautiful okay I do want to pick I love these cards one for divine feminine jeez yay oh so she's having an inner commitment within herself that she's feeling strong and she's riding this wave okay I'll explain it in a minute Yep. We're in another room. I need a bigger table. Manifest. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think I got these same two cards last night. Masculine is intending to move. Like, movement forward. Thank God. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, but look at on the bottom of the deck now. Unexpected visitor. Knock, knock, knock. Who's home? Hmm. Do my feminine like hello? <laughs> or she's picking in. She's opening the door from the outside. <laughs> I love this card. Unexpected visitor. I I am one of those people that love surprises. Okay, not many people do. But what's the point of like knowing and having everything planned? It's supposed to be the universe is gives you surprises all the time like right so and the moonlight card came out which is perfect because we had the full moon and I myself did a little bit of a ritual a prayer just letting go you know just my own thing anyways let's get into this she has on her side oh my goodness commitment and ride the wave with the two dolphins this beautiful little fairy riding riding on top of the dolphins I love dolphins I want to swim with them and manta rays I want to go scuba diving you know I started to think about that too like all the things that I really want to do even though like it's scary it sounds scary you know the bucket list kind of a thing Good, it's good to look at what you want to experience, you know? Write them down if you want. Anyways, we've got commitment over here. Okay, because look at what it looks like, too, is it really looks ether etheric. It looks very spiritual, like in the heavens, in the astral, in the higher realms. It's a very higher realm card. All the flowers, the sparkles, it looks very pure. So the thing is, is like she knows that the, she's already has this higher level commitment, this higher bond, this love. It's already, it's already been done. Like it's already, <sighs> yeah, it's already completed. They talk about um, they like my team, and I've heard other people say the spiritual wife, spiritual husband, and spiritually you're already in union you're already married spirit in spirit because you're already one you're one being like you share an over soul higher selves but like you share a soul and it's like she knows that she's just riding these waves right now because she knows the truth that it's already done like that's that's my beloved right that's my beloved okay it's 
spiritually already in union, already merged in union. I've seen it myself in the higher dimension, sixth dimension, seventh dimension, like all in all different forms and all different aspects I have seen me and my twin flame in every single one. Like every timeline, it's like a movie, just clips, just flash, 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 flash in my mind. So it's something that you come to terms with and you just accept it, you know, and you don't look to the outside reality because this, this is really high level energy and it's very pure and beautiful. And so the Divine Feminine knows this, especially with home right next to it. She knows that they are home. They are already home. Okay? They are already home within each other. So it's all good. And I love this Peaks of Joy next to Movement and Intentions. Look at it. In intentions for movement here. And look at it. It's got a whole new like little world, this emu ostrich whatever it is he's he's packing up getting ready to go some may be going through that relocation i don't know um reading for because this is a general reading so it could be you no know, who i don't know but there's movement going it's packed it's things there's a hot air balloon signifying a release of something it's moving along has intentions this bird has a dandelion. He's sitting on top of an egg. He has intentions. Number 22, master number 22. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Master number 22. Intention for movement. I'm running out of room. Ah, okay. Okay, so now what here? These cards are so beautiful. So beautiful. Let's see what Spirit wants me to use next. Let's use the Angels of Atlantis. Let's pull it for Divine Feminine. Intuition. Of course. <laughs> the chakras are all lit up. Tapped into her intuition for sure. Yes. That blue indigo color, the third eye, has been popping off. Uh, yeah. Experienced this really strongly last night. Lots and lots of... I am... The upgrades that I'm getting, I'm looking at my body like, oh my gosh, my body is changing. It looks different, feels different. The crystalline energy moving through. The waves that are coming in from the galactic core or wherever I, I i don't know the details i just know that it is and i feel the waves when they come in um my intuition is off top, off top on point like it's really strong and i'm having visions of things before they happen calm premonitions uh yeah things happening before yeah, in my mind, I see them, and then it happens. It's trippy. <laughs> um, yeah, so intuition is very key for Divine Feminine right now. And Divine Masculine is also tapping in his to intuition strongly as well. It's in the mirror. Let's see what he gets. Hope. Beautiful. Especially with that beautiful, uh, the bird, the dove. hope. He's feeling a sense of hope. His Divine Feminine gives him hope. He sees her light. Like I said, the Divine Feminine is a really guiding light. She is that lighthouse. 
that brings in the divine masculine and assists them in the spiritual realms and assists them with the spirituality. And um, he's getting a sense of hope again. Maybe he had lost hope. Okay, but with this bird here, the dove of peace, hope, faith. One for the combining energies. Mercy. <laughs> Have mercy. Have mercy. <laughs> Wisdom. Okay, both energies. That's great. With that diamond. Okay, we have, well, first of all, the guiding for, the guiding Archangel Master, Archangel Metatron is what guides the twins with this diamond energy, diamond light codes of wisdom, pure wisdom and mercy. It's like being at the mercy of the, of the divine. It's basically to me, I feel like surrendering and to the divine and allowing them to help us, allowing them to help us, to give us the wisdom that we need to keep going forward because they're along the journey the storm fields right they show up the towers they show up okay so gives us that guiding light to move us on forward got one more card for the middle balance it out yep seriously it's time for this group of to retreat and I mean together. <laughs> Retreat. So going within, and I love that it shows the Egyptian um, statues, very connected to Egypt. Um, that this energy of retreat, the going with this is also a going within both both energies going within, but also retreat in general is needed, I think. For a lot of twins out there to come together and to retreat, build something, communicate, have a message in a bottle, have some movement. And I'm talking in the physical, okay? We can retreat all day long in the spiritual. <laughs> and look, we have at the bottom of the deck Archangel Michael with enchantment with the unicorn. Yes, we're unicorns. Like, I can already see a whole line of. I don't know if somebody made that up already, but I'm like determined. <laughs> that could be, yes, for unicorns. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Okay. Beautiful. Yes, for unicorns. The new unicorn came out. <laughs> Okay, let's just for just for fun. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look, bottom of the deck retreat. Told you it's time to disconnect from the world, twins. Definitely go into nature, retreat with one another, and be cl in that closeness. Be close together. Talk about your journey thus far. There is a real longing for closeness for sure and um twin flame enchantress sylvia she's awesome she's like my teacher in this whole journey she had a video up about the longing for closeness how a lot of a lot of twins are just really longing to be the physical closeness to have that because this um been a long journey for a lot of people, some people have, it's been really long, like years and years. So this energy of wanting to retreat. But for fun, I wanted to pull some romance angel cards so that I need to shuffle them. A couple times. Of course, the very soon card popped up. Very soon card. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. How about from Divine Feminine to Divine Masculine? Ha ha ha, let your friends help you. 
when I see the let your friends help you, I don't really mean like your physical friend. This is like your higher, your your soul family. Not people who are like they're kind of for you and they're not for you. Either really close, close friends who you know they got your back. But this is, this is more angelic. This is more higher help. So she's saying, ask for and accept support from others, from your team, from your angels, Divine Masculine. Please, just please pray and ask them for help. Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Oh, it's getting hot. I know it's like in the hundreds today, I think 101 outside. I haven't been out there yet, but it's hot. Aww. <laughs> Look at this. Give your your relationship a chance. Look at she's she's kind of like turning away, not in a mean way, but she's like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> and he's like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. <laughs> and love. Work on your partnership. I don't know what to say to that, honestly. I don't know. What about for both energies, spirit? Uh, yeah. What did I just say? I was just talking about conversations and communicating, retreating, communicating, uh, have some intimacy, just reconnect. Hard to heart conversations. <laughs> honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Beautiful with that retreat card right in the middle yes heart to heart I kind of want to see what else divine masculine what other thing do you want to say to your divine feminine that's watching this video oh my gosh huh. express your love Feminines, what do you want to say here? Masculines, cheese. Yep. Yep. Okay, that's good. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, he knows he needs to do this because, okay. Yeah. Divine feminines, I feel like most of us have expressed something. But it is at that point where the Divine Masculines, it's their journey to, to have the courage to move forward and use their throat chakra and express their love. Giving, well look at this, give the relationship a chance. They're both embracing each other. So he wants this closeness. That's why he has an intention here to move, to have movement with his peaks of joy, wants to share some joy, wants to share something, maybe even share some good news because of this message in a bottle. Okay, he has hope here. So that's really beautiful. He's gaining new wisdom. So Divine Feminine had to let your friends help you, right? Let your higher friends help you or really close friends who know, know you and love you unconditionally, okay? I'm just gonna say that, does not, or just ask any friend for for assistance with this kind of thing. This is the type of thing you ask God help for, okay? And your angels. Uh, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah, so she's telling the masculine, masculine to stay optimistic. Don't go down the road of doubt and fear and just and let it take you because that is the ego and that's the fear. So stay optimistic. She said, look, I got this for you. I got this in my hand, this blessing that I want to offer you when you're ready. Here you go. Okay. And chemistry, obviously. Chemistry card is just a real obvious card that this is a twin flame connection. Because it says there is a strong magnetic attraction here. That red, that blue, throat, throat chakra red which is that base portal also also you know the intimacy and the throat chakra just lots of as you can see in this picture there's intimate moments 
They're looking at this light. She's like, look it. I have this light. I want to show you. I want to show you. Let me show you what I've discovered. Like, on this journey that we've been apart, you know? Even though we've been together the whole time, let's share what it's... What it, let me show you this light. And he's like, wow. He's... he's and it's raining in the background. They're in robes. They're comfortable. They're both sharing the light. You see that? I didn't even notice that. He has his hand open with his light. And she is... But it's almost like... there's. This is a this is bigger message than I thought. Okay. They're both this light, which represents the source connection and this light that has been ignited since they uh, ignited it when they met, right? That Kundalini energy. He's like holding it. He's supporting it. And she's like um, manipulating. I don't like that word, manipulation. She's utilizing her energy because she's the high priestess. She's magical. She's like look at this, look what I have, and he's like, wow, and he's supporting it, so he's supporting this, that's cool, I like it, very cool, okay, so with that, that's a complete reading, I feel, that's plenty of messages, oh, it's already been 41 minutes, um, So, have a great day. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.